Hi, I'm Toby Hodges from Yachting World. This is the new Cape 67. Very cool day boat with plenty of funky new innovations. We're going to have a look around here. I've just walked up to the boat and Jean-Pierre here was having a siesta on this foredeck. I thought, ah, oh, this looks really interesting. And he's pointed out quite a few neat features before we go out for a little sail on this for European Yacht of the Year tours. Just want to show you a few of these features. So we're going to go from the stern here to the bow, starting with this Torquedo engine here, which he has a neat system for storing under deck. So each side, so under Jean-Pierre's feet, as well as another big locker for storing your fenders, etc. So when we go sailing, you can just lift this. The driver pivots up there and then stows away in that locker. There it is, all stowed away. And then we have a flip up, kick up rudder for this as well. So important thing to note with that, it's just like a dinghy system really, but the rudder comes right up. And it also acts as a bit of a, a fuse as well, because this has a lifting centerboard on it. So if you do hit anything, the rudder will kick up. And the centerboard gives you a nice deep draft, 1.8 meters and up, up to 25 centimeters. But look at this, above the rudder, really neat. Important for a day boat, you have all this cockpit space and look how big your table is. So that just comes up on those struts. And this is the, yeah, and we got some <laughs> neat little cushion system here for the, for the combing. So there you've got a backrest there to sit at your table. And the, the rudder itself, I'll show you as we go sailing, sorry, the, the centerboard is, is on a hydraulic system to lower it. So you can just control that from these buttons. We'll have a look at that, but it only takes 20 seconds to raise or lower it. And that remote system is running off the Torquedo battery itself. So you can take the Torquedo battery home or you can charge it on the dock as we are at the moment. And yes, it is a day boat with a massive cockpit, but as well as this lovely big reclining sunbed foredeck area here, beneath that is amazingly space for a couple of berths if you want them as well. So if you did want to have an overnight or if you did want to have your, si your siesta inside, steps down and two full-size berths under the foredeck. How cool is that? Access into the chain locker. Plenty of room to have a little lie down. It's full of surprises this boat. So this Cape Cod is designed and built by the yard's owner in Bordeaux where they and they build uh, classic boats as well. Um, and only small yards, six people, they build about 12 boats a year. Yeah, and the idea of this, keep it simple. So it's a trailer, trailable boat. It only weighs just over a ton, 350 kilos in the keel in the centerboard. And uh, yeah, you can rig and get it afloat within two hours, reportedly. Let's take it for a sail. Nice quiet maneuvering in, in port here. And these C smart fittings really smart, so these are standard. So you see these recesses, you just push the button, those pop off. And the same with those cheap block fittings as well for the sheets. 
What a fun sports day boat to, to sail. So we come out of La Rochelle in sailing out the channel with a small jib that you can cant up to windward, short tacking out through the channel, and then set this reaching Jenica. And yeah, it's really reactive. I mean, you can see here that wind's just got up a little bit more now, but still probably only just reaching double figures, but being in single figures mainly, and it's really reactive. So you've got a tiller extension here. Um, and this is a nice feature as well to have this block and tackle on here. So particularly when you're going upwind, you know, you can, because it's a single point main on that, on the cam cleat, just all nice ratcheted deck gear. It's been well thought about. So you can get that coming to windward. And yeah, I mean, especially for short handing, you can see here we've cross sheeted the kite wind, the kite sheet here up onto the windward side. So two of you sailing, that's an ideal setup. Houndsman's got the main sheet to, to hand. Trim the, trim the Jenica from here easily. Uh, and the same sort of thing when you've got that jib out as well, because it's on a nice little rail here. So when you want to, you can just count the angle of the jib sheet right in board uh, so you can help point the boat. So even though it's got quite a, well, a very wide bow on it, and that's obviously for a bit of accommodation shape, you know, it does seem to point well, and it does slip, away, slip along. I mean, what I don't know is how it react in waves, but... Uh, there's plenty of waterline length there that's helping this, helping us go through the water well now. And yeah, really good fun, surprise experience. European Yacht of the Year trials. One of the things I enjoy about the most is they'll sometimes throw up a model of shipyard or something you haven't heard of, you don't know anything about. This is one of the Cape Cod 767, a 23 foot spacious day boat full of some really good ideas. And this is comes from a yard that makes some beautiful classic style day boats as well. So if you haven't heard of them and I haven't, check them out. It's well worth it. It's been a lot of fun. This boat costs about 110,000 euros expat standard price. Hope you enjoyed the sail and the tour. It's been great fun out here.